footage here from June 7th, Red vs. Blue, scenario game at OXCC in Chesapeake City, Maryland. So after all the hard work today, we lost stuff that we should own. It's right out in our front door. What do is it who gets the points after the time after the time goes off? You have to you, when, when, when they call the in when they call in to the referees. I think every twenty minutes or half an hour we, they take. Uh, they call every half an hour on the nose. That I, I was told this specifically by the ref. And whoever has it on that half an hour on the nose gets the points. So what's taking place here is we've just reinserted. Uh, our team held most of the entire complex during the early morning hours, but so many players, you know, got tired or just wanted to take a break, walked off the field at the same time. The blue just walked back out and took territory that, you know, they didn't have to, it was uncontested. So now we're having to fight back for territory we once had. Um, we did end up winning the day and, yeah, but it's you know, situations like this it's where testimony how we communicated with each other and we weren't just, you know, brawlers. It was a good communicating team. So that's what this video is going to kind of uh, showcase. Uh, the team that we're playing against uh, kind of left themselves beyond their lines in this situation. I just saw one walk out of that top, the, uh, that structure. What we've got here is they're in that tower up there, and I'm I'm going I'm going to try to bring up players with me uh, to get back into position to attack this tower properly. There, there's one guy about to crawl there at the left. There's one guy hiding behind that bush, that and I'm going to I'm kind of right shadow walk into the bush, so to speak. Get up to that bush and uh, get some recon. And at that point, make my own decision as to how I want to attack with the with these guys. You see the tree line off to the right with the buses. We own the buses, but at tree line, there's a berm, there's a road, and there's a berm, and there's players from the opposing team in that on that berm shooting over from our right side. So those guys in the tower aren't entirely alone. Yeah, shoot in the window. Just shoot in the bottom left window. There's two bottom left windows. And there you can see the player that I'm going to try to give him some cover fire now that I've established that that window is where I want to put a, put the paint. And by shooting in that window, now this guy is able Somebody to advance. Somebody you know, kind advance. of Their heads are well, move through. Their heads are and he figures it out as everybody else does, and they start to jump up and get up with these other players that are on that berm shooting into the windows. So now life just got much more difficult for these guys. And my usefulness here on this bush is, you know, of no use. So I, I want to get up there and brawl. How we doing? How we doing? I'm going to make my way around. Uh, I decided I want one of these, you know, those tubes up there. So I can pop up and really put some close range shots in that window. I make my move over here towards the bus. I got some buddies covering from the bus, and I'm going to essentially keep my head down and crawl through these weeds to get to that tube. That'll allow me to both really get a better perspective as to who's in the tower and how to attack it. And of course, when I want to shoot, I'll be at a much closer range. So my my paint's going to be you know, just that much more accurate. So that tree line there, you see, it's the berm over there, and there's players shooting in from the right. So that's why I can't just run up to the, I can't just shadow walk into that, that tube. i got to stay down or else I'm going to get shot in the side, right side of my head. So as I crawl up to this thing, I'm, I've got the presence of mind to look down this lane here, and I ask the ref, I waved him to move, and he's like, yeah, that's cool, I'll move. And by no one shooting back at me, I realize I'm clear and I get back to doing what I want to do. Again, uh, I've said this many times, never assume. And that's what I was you know, trying to do there. I didn't want to assume that I could just go straight up and nothing was going to occur from my right. Now the camera is mounted to the top of the loader. So just because you're seeing something doesn't mean I'm looking in that direction. This is a classic case of what I do with the, with the loader and the camera. I'm, I'm now getting some recon. I'm about to feed the, the team what I know by looking and surveying. You notice I'm not shooting. I'm not giving away my position. I'm also looking to the right at this moment to check out what I need to do. Hey guys, there's movement on the second floor. He's down low. There's one on the second floor down low. So as I give my, as I give the team information, they they relay it to each other, and we're about to collapse on these guys in the tower. So I let my team do what they need to do with the tower while I watch our right hip, and I'm I'm keeping an eye on these guys in the berm. So again, there's that tree line. They're they're going to eventually fall back into that tree line. They're trying to support their their t their buddies in the tower, but it's it's to no avail. There's too many of us now. So this this video here, you know, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to share with you that you know scenario games are spread out. They're not like speedball. They're not like rec ball. They're completely different. There's a whole different texture to the game. And you know, if you've never played paintball again before, uh, I I would say that might be all, one of the best ways to get into it because it's so spread out and the pacing is so much slower and tactical 
uh, it's more like old, true old school paintball. You know, it's like the, the things you play with your buddies in, in the woods where you almost, you know, where's the boundaries? You know, can, can I walk for a mile and flank them? We own the building. Uh, we, and, we uh, the tower. you know, there's an appeal to that tower. because what happens is you Watch wander right into things. Hit. There were shots coming and you've got to play it right as you move. And you see now that the team is, you know, they've they've taken the tower and the whole team is just shooting up now. They're going to they're gonna push straight through in the same direction those guys were running. Myself, on the other hand, I don't like to leave anything to chance. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to... I'm going to check out that berm so that our team doesn't leave our right side open and flanked and get flanked. You know, as, as so as new players come and reinsert as we just did, they don't just come walking up the road and get shot. You know, give the other team a free we shot. We have two on the berm. We have two on the berm. And uh, you know, my plan is is to walk through the towards the gap in the berm so that the other team can see me and they'll take some shots at me and they'll be at, well out of range and I'll know where they're at. And that kind of plays itself out. Uh, inevitably. So as the rest of our team is pushing up, there's my son supporting me on this move. Uh, that's Declan. Uh, we're just making certain that we don't, you know, we don't get teammates who come back into the game shot off their off their walk in. There's nothing worse than walking across a field and then suddenly somebody's just got three shots at you and you have to go right right back to where you started. When you started. Back in the woods, right, guys. Look, I really do back hope that uh, you know, it's, uh, not exciting as this video is, that you're getting something out of it. And that you're supporting the channel, and in doing so, I, you know, I try to put more of these up. I, people have been asking for them. I will give you more, and I only want to put things up that are worth, you know, give you something to learn from. I, I'm not, I don't do these, you know, I don't do these videos to to be a show off or, or well, they need to be entertaining, obviously, to keep your your attention. I, I really think it's always worth taking something away from it, uh, or why bother? I can't see where we're at. So again, uh, of course they can see me, you're though. supporting the channel. That means you, you know you give me the likes. You're sharing these with friends. Do all that stuff. It, it does mean a lot. It, don't assume somebody yeah, they're, else. They're is right do about here, but they're in something. Me. All right. Okay, guys. More videos to come. If you liked uh, this field here, because I just happen to love it a lot for scenario games, it's OXCC in people. Chesapeake City, Maryland. And uh, all you have to do is hit their website, OXCC.com. Now, if he you're not anywhere near he here, I still suggest you explore he the options back. of playing in scenario games in your own area. It was one, they one, are a back ton of jerk. fun, especially if the, the people who are putting on them have a lot of space we're to at, spread out over. OXCC uses their entire complex. It's over 100 acres. And they, they, they basically they use all of their rec fields, and they combine them at once. So you know, the fields that have gullies, the fields that have the, uh, the airport, the open fields, the fire base, all these things are combined, and it's just an incredible all feel as you make your way through these things and, and you try to own these territories. All right, guys, we are done. See you on the channel. It's too much for any man.